Welcome to the next video Hi, how I put Linux on a Microsoft Surface Go in just an hour. Can you take an old Surface and run modern, modern Linux on it? So let's start the video. The original uh, Surface Go is a nice little tablet that squeezes a lot out of a low power platinum class processors on uh, a 10 10 inch display it's light and portable the idea for the factor for uh, devices ready to pull out a uh, use whenever and whenever and with three generations of uh, hardware the original version is nice and cheap on the second hand market on the better value surfaces around but it does have its limits for one thing that while it uh, it has a TPM its processor is not supported on Windows 11 so how do you squeeze more life out of devices that will drop out of support in a couple of years as Microsoft winds down Windows 10 the answer is simple one run Linux on it of course some things are easier said then then microsoft uses a lot of custom hardware its surface devices yes you can run a standard linux kernel but uh, you're going to want more than the that luckily for us there there is the github hosted linux surface project which has built a surface optimized kernel that is the drop in replacement for most for most uh, exciting uh, destroys See uh, Ferran OS in a Linux uh, distributions that is a lovely uh, as the, it's easy to use. So the Linux is a but uh, which Destro after a bit of research I found that Ubuntu or similar would be in my best options that Surface Go might not have are security features security features required by Windows 11 but like most Windows devices since the launch of Windows 8 a user secure boot to protect your data that means using linux that comes will be the uh, 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 appropriate appropriate code signing certificate unless you want to spend time getting into the surface uefi setting and turning off most the hardware security features and then going through a relatively complex process to get linux installed and booting See how I reviewed three uh, and sent the computers with the Chrome OS uh, Flex. With Ubuntu, I, I was able to down at latest uh, 22.4 LTS realized before using this familiar uh, Rufus bootable USB creations tool to the download. ISO is, uh, is to a live USB stick with the supported for GPT UEFI system. I helped have a USB uh, C uh, stick to hand as the Surface Go only uh, ha has one USB C port and there can be issues installing Linux through USB hub. Getting installed was easy enough. I started from recovery sections on the update screens in Windows 10 setting as but where I choose to use uh, advanced startup this gives uh, you two options booting your devices for the usb device in the case of ubuntu live image with the my usb drive interest i have given the option of booting using a lin uh, linbus light is not actually the linbus Destro. it's a hub in the surface uefi a board loaders that identify and bootable grub based linux media as linux Check it to start the Ubuntu install first launching a Linux environment so you can see how it will look on the surface. Uh, while you can set up a uh, dual boot uh, re-returning uh, re the surface go and drive the small size of its AMMC or SSD drives makes it easier to simply wipe windows and start from scratch with a fresh install ubuntu will partitions and format the drive view as part of the install process switching from windows nfts to linux ext4 file system kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for new updates